Hey guys, it's Danny, and today's Ingredient 101 is oatmeal. Now, for many people, oatmeal is a powerhouse ingredient. It's low in calories, low in fat, high in fiber, and packed with nutrients. So this is definitely a clean and delicious ingredient worth experimenting with in your diet. Now, with that being said, there's several different types of oats, so today I wanna go over all the major players and break it down for you guys to clear up any confusion that's out there. Now, at the top of the chain, we have oat groats. Now, essentially, oat groats are the whole oat with the husk removed. So this is the least processed form of oatmeal you're gonna find. With that being said, it does tend to be a little bit cheaper than other oatmeal, but it does take the longest to cook, about 50 minutes or so. You're gonna find this in the grocery store either in a bag near the cereal section or you can find it in the bulk department. It has a nice nutty earthy flavor to it and when it's cooked up, it looks just like a grain of rice. Next up we have steel cut oats. Now all steel cut oats are, are oat groats that have been cut into two or three smaller pieces with a steel cut blade. Hence the name, steel cut oats. Now, Essentially, these are still a highly unprocessed form of oatmeal, but they cook up faster than the groats, and because they're cut, when they cook, the starches inside get released, making a nice, hearty, nutty, creamy oatmeal. Now, what you do need to keep in mind with steel cut oats is that they don't work for baking, and they do not work in the microwave. Then we've got rolled oats, also called old-fashioned oats, and these are the kind of oats that most people think about when they think about oatmeal. Now, all a rolled oat is, is an oat groat that's been steamed, rolled out, steamed again, and then toasted. And this is the kind of oatmeal that would work if you were doing some baking, or if you wanted to make a quick oat flour. They cook in about five minutes on the stove, or if you wanted to do it really quick, they work beautifully in the microwave. Just take a half a cup of rolled oats, add one cup of water, put it in a microwave safe dish, pop it in the microwave for two minutes. Then when it comes out, give it a quick stir, top it with your favorite fruit, and boom, you got yourself a quick, clean, and delicious breakfast on the go. Then after rolled oats, you've got instant oats, also called quick cooked oats. And all that is, is rolled oats that have been pre-cooked a little bit, so that when you get them home, they cook up even faster, kind of like instant rice. So these will cook up in about a minute or two. Now in my opinion, for the extra two minutes it takes to make rolled oats, the flavor and texture is a lot better. But like I always tell you guys, at the end of the day, you gotta make this work for you. Now, the only type of oatmeal that I wouldn't recommend are those little pre-packaged, pre-flavored baggies that they sell, and that's because they can have a ton of sugar in them. I have seen one packet have upwards of 15 grams of sugar for the packet. And if you guys remember, one teaspoon of sugar, sugar is equivalent to four grams. So 15 grams is way more than you'd ever be voluntarily adding to your oatmeal. So I say buy the plain oatmeal and then just season it with whatever you like. So now that you guys know all the basics of oatmeal, pop down in the comments below and let me know what type of clean and delicious recipes you like to make with your oatmeal. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. The starches that are inside each little groat, these are one of the most pop, pop sealer, the pre-flavored ones. Let's take that from the top. My hair is falling. Let's take that from the top.